somewhere, I'm not very good at this drawing, but maybe there is a feature that is doing this. So on this line, this is what it is. In this direction, this is what it looks like. One one thing that can drive my decision to take two D lines, several two D lines. Let's say five, five two D lines along this direction, and let's say one one two D line the other direction. Is understanding of what the regional geology is. If I know that in this area we have, let's say we have um, let's say we have faults. Right? Like this is the kind of Falls we have. Reverse thrust main on the angle of the false plane. It, and I know that these falls are so extensive, and this is like, this is what they're doing in terms of trend. Yeah. That tells me that if I have a feature here, it is likely to continue in this direction more. I'm uh, probably not getting this right, but either way, what I'm trying to say is I already have a an idea of the direction along which this feature is extensive. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that tells me, okay, either we can, whatever I'm seeing here, I expect it to be more extensive in that direction. So I'm going to now decide to take a number of 2D lines along this. But I won't be taking 2D lines, I won't be taking 5 2D lines in this other direction that is parallel to the structure because I will miss it. Yeah. Right? I will, I will, and what will happen is, for each of the three lines, you probably just see very, you know, low angle stuff that doesn't really show you any evidence of the structure until you get to this line. Along, I mean, even when you get there, you probably won't see. They said this structure is such that it's, uh, you know, it's not just uh, elongated, but there's some kind of offset or it's, it's <laughs> deformed, right? So I'm going to have to now take the number of three lines so that I won't image this because I already have from regional knowledge, right, that things are more continuous than that. Another example is supposing I have. Uh, I'm going to try to make this hopefully simpler. I'm going to draw it, let's say, fault in there. So, this first example is saying my um, interest is the stratigraphy, right? Mm -hmm. So, this second one is saying, okay, supposing my interest is now the structure. Let's say I have a fault that does this. That's all I will see right here. Yeah. 
Then I can complicate this a little bit by saying maybe I have a stratigraphy that shows me I have a bit here that is down thrown in this direction. Maybe, right? Which I can attempt to put in here. That's trying to make this complicated. On the line, on the uh, line B, D, F, A, uh, F, G. So this, this first one is A, B, A, B, E, F. Right, the next one is this one that says B, D, F, G. What am I going to see? Just this. Which is actually just this. Who doesn't tell me much? Right. Yeah. I don't see. So, what it tells me is that I want to focus on lines in this direction that will show me more of the fault itself. So, I want to take 2D lines like this. And maybe somewhere here, so maybe I want to take another 2D line like this. Remember, the idea is to go or to go now to the feature that you want to image. Right, especially in this case, the fault. So, I mean, instead of taking the 2D line like this, I know that, but when I get here, I think I want to take the 2D line in this direction. Why? Because of regional knowledge of what this geometry, this fault geometry is, and you know, this fault um, trends are doing. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, like I said earlier on, part of what we do, we are more like, geologists are more like subsurface photographers. Okay. Yeah. Subsurface, uh, we're trying to recreate yeah. first of all the image of the subsurface. Uh, were it there when it was, it was created? Okay. But we're here now, <laughs> right? So, we want to create the picture of the subsurface, but we have to use as much as possible our understanding of what our primary structure, structural geology, primary uh, understanding of stratigraphy, yeah. regional knowledge of the basin, yeah. right? Only Offsets, literature. analysis, Only literature. So, yes, yeah. so all the literature that we know, we want to bring it into making the best decision for this. So I'm going to take a number of lines, but when I get here, I'm going to advise my um, uh, superiors that, hey, from the knowledge of this region, this fall, this, this is the overall trend. So we want to take our lines in this direction. And then we have all kind of other uh, fancy tools that can also help you image the trend. And when you, with those knowledge, you want to decide what line. Yeah, go ahead. So I just want to know, so because we are working from regional knowledge now, mm -hmm. what tools or what basis we need to build up that regional knowledge? Because sometimes when I look at this regional map of Niger Delta, I see four strengths. In some region they are trending in one direction, in some region they are more of endogates, some they are short short. So on what basis did they build up that regional knowledge since we are now narrowing down to two? Because if, I'm just thinking if you know the tools that you use, maybe. Yeah, so the, really, really, the basis is not, it wasn't a one-off thing. Okay. It wasn't that the moment we walked into it, the Gulf of Mexico or the Niger Delta, we suddenly knew it, that, oh, this is everything, this is the trend. It's actually, first of all, globally, we have basins that have been studied in detail. Yeah. Okay. The next question we ask is, what basin is, is similar to okay. our basin? What basin is a good analog for our basin? Yeah. Our Niger Delta basin, for example. Right? And what were the processes? What were the features that were captured? With that knowledge, you went on to decide, okay, I think I will now look at, you now know what to look out for. What we do as geologists, as some of these uh, scientists, sometimes before you even start an interpretation, you already know. You, you actually are looking for what you know, or what you think it should be, or what you think it is. Nobody goes there and starts Interpreting you. We already first of all create the picture in your mind based on knowledge of what has happened elsewhere. Tell yourself, okay, I think this relationship is strong enough for me to expect to see similar features in this area. And then that means you're already biased to what you know, right? And then you're looking for a reason sometimes to, just to justify that which you have in your head. But you have to have something in your head, otherwise, there's a lot of things that will be there. So the question is, are, are you asking the tools that this to so, mm -hmm. so the tools, I don't, I don't think, I, I'm not really familiar with yeah. the names of tools that were used in the past, yeah. because so, I wasn't there in the past, so, I'm here now, we're all here now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, 
sometimes they use basic sketches, cartoons, yeah. ideas, concepts. I think they were more of drawing and yeah. sketching it like yeah. it. was a sketch. Yeah. That's why yeah. I really want you guys to understand that's, this. That's the basis of drawing. That's sketches. The yeah. 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 They didn't have images yeah. of them. Yeah. 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 Some of them have walked across the basic. Across, and some have walked in other fields mm. too. Mm. So yeah. when they now come to so when they now come to a particular uh, area of Nanya Delta, they can now figure out, you know what, this is what I expect. See, we Just must... Like looking at a car, and you're using the, uh, the features that you have seen to describe it, to you look at it and say, okay, this is what is yeah. similar, so this is what the yes. environment is like. We must be able to represent our thoughts on paper. You must be able to represent it in a simplified manner. 